Welcome back to I Know It in Android. We are playing our campaign in the extreme difficulty. We finished actually the main campaign, the main story, but we are far from finished. And actually in the last episode, we went to war, right? We started a war against Da Silva. He started with more than 2000 of military power. Now he's down to 800. We've been, you know, gaining a lot of ground. And to be honest, I think something like 30 minutes has passed since the end of the last episode. Why? because my mic wasn't working. I actually have the footage, you know, I can prove it. It's there, but I'm just not talking because my mic wasn't working. So anyway, I'm just going to try to catch you back. Obviously, in the last episode, right away, we lost our only island, Tamborin, in Mbisa. So in Mbisa, we have nothing. It's really a shame that he actually hasn't built anything there. <laughs> but anyway, then in the old world, actually, we made tons of progress, right? We took over almost all of the old world except his historic main island, which is super well defended. I mean, he has three harbors like this one. So we're not going to be able to take it with military power right now. And it's even less possible with money because one share is more than what we have in the bank. And the final one is, you know, 20 million. So we cannot do anything about that one. So instead, I started to work on the new world. And in particular, because in the new world, you know, towards the end of the last episode and the beginning of this one, he actually dealt a lot of damage to me in the new world. We actually lost pretty much everything. We lost Manola. As you can see, Manola is now completely empty because he took it and destroyed, obviously. And then I retook it, but everything is gone. He also took La Isla. Uh, I just retook it now a couple of minutes ago, but you can see it's empty. We didn't lose prosperity, but it was actually super close. You know, there was, he sent his whole fleet that was remaining here and I had pretty much nothing. So we were very, very close to lose it. I sent my whole army there and managed to save it just in time. And that's when I started to actually fight back. And we took it back a couple of islands. For example, we took back Cinnamon over here at the bottom. This one was one of his. We took it back. Um, we took that one too. We just retook uh, this one over here, which used to be, I think, my coconut island that he even renamed into something else. And when I realized that my Mac wasn't working, uh, we were working on this one and just took that one over just now. I'm also being very careful not to not lose more ships. So as soon as one ship uh, is not full health, I send it over here where I have three grains. But yeah, we are slowly but surely making progress basically to retake the new world. And in the old world, we're actually pretty okay. I've even added now anti-air defenses because he kept sending bombs uh, on this island in particular. And by the way, that is how he took Manola. He didn't go through my ships. I had many ships protecting Manola. But what he did is he sent so many bombs that my whole harbor was completely destroyed. And therefore, uh, you know, the island fell into his hand. So I want to prevent, obviously, this from happening in my new capital. And therefore, I put tons of anti-air flak emplacements over here. I've also been building those flak uh, monitors that can also destroy uh, those airships because he has definitely quite a few airships, as you can see over here, protecting his island. But yeah, I have, you know, a small fleet right in front of his arbor number one. I have another small fleet over here just in case he tries to attack from the bottom. So, so far, so good. Sometimes he managed to send, you know, one of those cargo ships somewhere. Sometimes I track them down, sometimes I don't. But yeah, so far, so good. You know, I'm really happy with the progress we're making. I haven't really started to rebuild anything, even for the smaller islands like Copper Iron Grape that used to be there, or for that one that used to be for the fur. I'm not rebuilding yet. I want to first make more progress and, you know, stabilize the sort of military before we rebuild. So far, my money is holding up. I think we had good reserves of a lot of products and I've put, you know, a plus 15% to make sure that we do have quite a bit of income. So, so far, so good. We will go into rebuilding, obviously, at some point, And at that point, I have a secret for you. So I hope you're excited for this. Again, sorry that I wasn't recording and therefore that you didn't see, you know, some of these reconquests or the big battle that happened on prosperity. But I think, you know, it's, it's not the end of the world. You didn't miss that much either. I think this should be our next target. It is actually quite a big island of years. Uh, he only has one arbor on it, right? Yes, only one arbor. So there's a couple of defenses, but it's not too big either. So I think we can actually 
go through it. I'm just going to wait for the reinforcements to arrive, I think. So let's go into position. What is that? A small <laughs> Schooner is back into Schooners. OK, why not? Oh, we also bought that one. So maybe this one can go destroy this Schooner. So yeah, let's put the troops into position. But he definitely hasn't given up. He sent again tons of bombs on this island over here. We almost lost it. So I'm looking if I don't have any uh, resources anywhere to help rebuild part of this. He also just sent some bombs over here, taking this island and that one. It's crazy. I'll be able to retake them, obviously, very soon. But still, this is annoying. So let's give him a test of his own medicine and attack his next island over here. Not too much defense. Going to save the ones that are a bit low on the health. We did lose one. I'm not gonna lie. Saw it happen. But I think we're good now. Okay. Looking good, looking good. Because now there's no defenses. There's still a lot of building, but no defenses. So it should be easy to finish him. Sending the ones that got a bit hurt back to the base to be repaired. And let's finish that island. Oh, wait. There's a ship there, so make sure we kill him before he escapes. Good. Really gonna destroy the whole arbor? <laughs> done. Okay. One more done. Any good items? Yeah, for sure. Let's take them. Okay, the next one on the list, my former herb island. No defenses, so we can go even without you know these guys that are being repaired. My money is going back up, so, you know, buying ships when they get available. Oh, some defenses there. He's gonna attack me. He is. He is. Damn. Damn, damn. I need to send the fleet to help. Because we could lose this island otherwise. Okay. We're arriving again. There's not much defenses. So let's focus on the actual trade ports that can defend and then we can do the rest after done see that was an easy one perfect yes Some nice equipments for sure let's put them on Who wants uh, another one? You get another one. Or oh, I need some of this. Oh, this one is also some defenses. Yeah, yeah. Oh, he's trying to escape. But let's try to go for them. Oh, is that the one that escaped before? This time you won't escape. Let's go, let's go. Shouldn't let them rebuild the fleet, obviously. That would be a big problem. One more. Done. Another one there. Good. Don't have time to go to war with you. 
and is there any defenses there no there's no defenses this used to be one of my wood island if i remember correctly oh, not sure where it's going but okay i'll take that one on before going to maybe oh, oh oh what's happened oh it's that one we have three defenses we have some wood there maybe we can deliver that wood and rebuild a couple of things like this do we have by the way any weapons on board oh sorry that's the island we are attacking so all good and uh, we don't have weapons that is fine that is fine anything interesting over there let's check you're going to get repaired but you actually have no items so maybe you're gonna take some items but yeah the other ones can go get repaired okay let's go uh, so this one actually has defenses that's interesting quite a few defenses what about this one yeah also defended also defended defended so we're getting into his historic island which are pretty well defended okay and that one not very well defended this one some defenses let's get the fleet together first and then we can attack again uh, i think we're gonna try and this island actually is indeed very uh you know not well defended because it's right in the middle of many of his so maybe we do leave those three guys there just in case let's maybe retake oh he's already built some defenses on that one and also on this one okay so maybe we need to get the whole fleet together i'm just scared that as soon as i move this fleet from his base he's gonna get a lot of ships but there's no ships there so anyway let's go let's go so i don't want him to start building way more defenses on these ones i'm building also oil tankers to sell them if you were wondering this is how i'm planning to make a lot of money these days because they only cost a few steel and a few motors but they do bring a lot of money okay let's destroy steamships while we can too good 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 oh yes nice i'll take that one actually i should have done that photo just for free money but uh, give me this one yes and then go over here i'm not gonna put them too close because i'm worried they're gonna bomb my ships see just as i say this he sent some bomb and usually they send more but at least my troops are fine yeah i can just repair at some point oh more oh no see this is how i've been losing most of my islands just because i don't have enough anti-air uh, but i guess now that means we should get uh, the whole army together for sure at least prosperity has some flag emplacement as the next uh, probable target also have a ship there let's buy it for sure okay so let's go for that one it has definitely some defenses and in the old world we go for which one is it uh, this one there let's go let's go we can do it retake what is rightfully ours nice easy we didn't lose anything let's do the same quickly on the next one Okay, the world world is basically back to us. 
Let's also check here if there are some interesting items. Let's make sure we don't get attacked on other islands while I was away. Nothing good. Oh, we conquered also an island in the new world, I'm guessing. Let's see. Yeah. Oh, I think we lost the ship. I think we lost the ship. Because we weren't paying attention. So what do we have? We have a nice gun. Yeah. This is fine. Okay, let's get the fleet back here. And who is attacking me? Oh, some bombs. They're gonna take that one. Yeah, easy. When there's no defenses, it's obviously easy. But I can't be building defenses on all of my island right now. That's a waste of time, in my opinion. And I don't even have those resources right now. <laughs> but that's fine. It's okay. Oh, this one is looking for trouble. I'm a bit far. If I'm not mistaken. Where is the troops? Oh, not too far. Come. Also going for La Isla. Oh my god. I need anti-air. I need anti-air. Okay, I think we need to switch back to more black monitors. So that I can send them to the new world. Maybe let's send these ones to the new world for now. Okay, let's attack this one now. It's not too much defenses. Okay, this one is in trouble. Okay, we lost it. Yeah, I think we'll be fine. And my flank monitors have arrived, but I need to find where his airships are. <laughs> and I see some over here. Can I maybe get them? Yes, one, two, done. I think we're gonna go over here. Be ready to destroy all of this. Oh, damn it. Now they went for bright sands. Whoa! They actually have two ships over here. How did they get past? They got past me. Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Oh, these are looking for trouble. I really need more flagging placements. Starting to harass is airships over here, putting all of my ships close to the island. But at the same time, at a place where there's no defenses, right? It's between two arbors. Oh, yeah, destroying a lot of airships. Love it. it. Takes a while, to be honest, but not like they can do much about it. Next one. And I guess this is also where you see a bit the limit of the AI. Instead of just staying there, he continues to go around this island for no reason. And I can destroy him. Okay, one left. That's a lot less than before. Good. Okay, now 30 minutes later and the new world is almost ours. He only has one island that is left. It is an island that's actually quite well defended as you can see. But we're gonna try to take it over. So that then we can move to Enbesa and the old world. Let's go, let's go. Quite a lot of defense indeed. I think we're gonna lose quite a bit, but you know we're gonna try. We're gonna try. I'm using a lot of my items on this one. Hopefully losing a bit less. 
This is not even the main arbor, right? Remember? <laughs> but quite a bit of defense. My hope is though that starting with this arbor, then when we get to the main one, as soon as we sort of halfway through the main one, maybe we can still win and not have to finish the whole arbor. So that's why I'm here. See, we have weakened the island quite a bit. There's still a lot, but it's a start. Let's move to the other part of the island. Now, on this side, we have again quite a lot of defense. And on the other side, we don't have that much. So actually, maybe I should start by the other side, except... But when I'm in the other side, I am in range of many of these. That's why I'm not very happy and I prefer to go on this side here. Let's go, let's go. I don't know if we're gonna survive. Probably won't have a lot of ships left, but if we can finish the new world, that would be really great. Let's go. Wow, oh, we're losing so many troops, so many ships. But we're still alive. Oh, what happened? Okay, I don't want to get too close. To not be in range of the other ones and perfect we didn't have to go for the last arbor we got the island and he's done i mean there's a couple of ships they will probably try to escape uh, quickly or i don't know where is that one going let's try to follow them a couple of different ones yeah oh, yeah we're done with the Old world. No, well done with the new world. Now, that doesn't mean he's never going to send new ships to this region to try to take over, you know, new islands. But at least it's going to be a while before he has huge defenses on an island. He's trying to take over that one and he's almost there, actually. I missed that. Uh, what is happening over here? Just one steamer. But yeah, now he has one big island in the old world. And he still has, obviously, all of Enbesa. Now let's go crazy and send the whole fleet to the Old World. So that we can have an attack on the Old World now. I mean, I said the whole fleet. I'm leaving one or two here and there. Uh, just in case. Mainly, I guess, to protect Prosperity. Because that's the only island that we have left standing. All the other ones have been destroyed, right? So we need to rebuild the whole thing. And that's why we're... Getting lower and lower on population, lower and lower on money, because obviously our people, uh, they don't receive what they want. Okay, it is. The fleet is in the old world, in front of his main island. We're not going to go for the main arbor, actually. We're going to go for the small one first, over here on this side. And then actually I'm thinking we're going to go for the other small one. And then when we're done, oh, should we? oh he's going to escape. He's probably going to the new world, but that is life. So yes, I was saying we'll go for the small ones before the big ones. Or oh, look at these big betis. That is a challenge for sure. So many, so many. Okay, but at least this arbor is basically done. Finish it properly. Okay, done. 
And I think indeed we're going to try to do this small one on the other side. I mean, I say small, it still has a big Betty and multiple cannons. But it's obviously a lot smaller than the big one there. Now going in the back, we can try. Just worry that there's not going to be enough space. But I think there is actually. Let's go, let's go. We're almost there to get the old world and the new world. Then it will just be on Besa, which I'm not saying would be super easy, but it will definitely be a lot easier than the old one and the new world. Okay, let's go. My flagship in front. Oh, did I? No. It's the big Betty that's already attacking. Let's go for the big Betty. Yes, okay, good, good, good. Yeah, we're making a lot of damage, but I don't think that's going to be enough, actually, to get the island. I think we're going to have to go for the big arbor, unfortunately. Okay, okay, almost there. Okay. So that one is done, but yeah, that was not enough. We're barely in the red, so we're going to need to go around. I don't want to go too close because I think the big bait is... I'm going to be almost in range. Okay, okay. But the good thing is I shouldn't have to destroy too many defenses to put the island into my possession. And yeah, it's great to see that there's basically no blue on the map at all, even ships. Okay, let's go. We're gonna again lose a couple of ships for sure. But yeah, if we can do some nice damage quickly. Oh, look at those big Betty's attacking like crazy. I'm going in. I'm going in. Okay, one big bait is done. The second almost. Yes. And done. Yes. We got it. The old world is ours. I see two blue dots. We should go get them as soon as possible. But yeah, we definitely lost a lot. But we still have quite a few. You know, I'm very happy actually. We still have quite a few more than I expected. I know I sent a lot of flak monitors basically to their dead and that was a bit the point, you know, is they were cannon fodder as we said because I don't really need them anymore I feel, you know, I've destroyed most of these airships now, um, so I don't think we need that. And we're gonna send the fleet directly into Enbesa, you know, the reality is Enbesa they have, I mean here there's one cannon, for example it's a flak emplacement. Here there is also one clan and it's also a flag emplacement. I'm sure there's gonna be some islands with a bit more, you know, that one has two, this one has definitely more, you know, Atlas has a couple of cannons, but we should be able to do this, no problem, you know. I don't think you even need to see this. So while the army is actually moving to Ambesa, let me show you I'm planning to quickly restore the empire. I say quickly, obviously it's gonna take time, but to help, one important thing is I've created stamps of the islands before I declared war. So basically here, for example, I have the grape island. I just need to place it properly. This was how the island was. I can build the whole thing at once. Basically, you know, I can put it in blueprint. Because here, in blueprint mode, even if I don't have any of the resources, I can at least place everything, right? And then I filled a couple of my ships with resources, you know, bricks and timber, etc. Right, and I can go from one island to the next and just build what is necessary to build. Obviously, for things like La Isla or Manola, that's going to take more time. But for small islands like this, we could be pretty quick. Here, this one, for example, is the Fur Island. Done. And by the way, now that we've taken over the old world and the new world, we are finally above them across the military and the economy. You can see my military is actually basically by... Oh, what? It destroyed one of my buildings. That's not good. What happened? What happened? Oh, wait. <laughs> He's actually seriously attacking <laughs> this island. Oh my god. With the schooner. 
our gun board actually is even worse. He's lucky I don't have defenses on that side of the island. As expected, Mbesa wasn't actually that hard, took over most of the island very quickly, and now we're in front of the last one, which has, you know, a crane, but only one flag emplacement, so that's not gonna do much. So we should be able to take that island very quickly, and then I think it should be the end of the Admiral. There's so much fighting. Let's go, let's go. And done. And let us check. Yeah, victory! Finally, we have defeated all three AIs. We have completed the campaign. But this is not the end, right? We need to, of course, rebuild. We need to get to the Arctic. And we need to make sure to develop scholars and give them everything. But I hope you're still enjoying this series. Don't hesitate to smash like button. Tell me in the comments below, you know, anything that you want to see. What am I missing? And I hope to see you next time.